We begin today's Mobile One The Grid with sun, sand and speed as we go racing Caribbean style. The Dominican Republic may be famous for unspoiled beaches and beautiful blue waters, but just a stone's throw away from the stunning south coast, the island is alive with the sound of motorsport. I think there's more passion from motorsport than from beaches. So with everybody here loves anything that has gasoline in it, people love. I think they have it in their blood, the racing, because it's, the people are very passionate, drag, motorcycles, cars, karting. Racing here is very serious also because uh, if you look at the top teams, every race you see more international people, more international uh, technicians, drivers. Everybody thinks here is just to come to the beach and eat and whatever, but you know, it's not like that. The country's thirst for motorsport was quenched by round three of the 2012 Caribbean Grand Prix recently, held at the Autodromo Mobile One, just 30 kilometers from the capital, Santo Domingo. The Caribbean Grand Prix uh, right now is it's a mixture of cars and motorcycles. We have from little peewee bikes to the big super bikes. You see 50cc motorbikes racing, the guys that do delivery. Normally, you know, a pizza delivery guy will be here racing this weekend. So, you know, it's, it's going to be amazing for the fans. You got a great racetrack, awesome fans, um, a lot of race cars, different class, really good cars, fast cars. We've got drivers from all over the world. We have uh, British touring cars, Swedish touring cars, Dominican touring cars, Costa Rican touring cars. So it's a whole bunch of cars in this racetrack would get all together to offer a good spectacle to our public. As the racing got underway, the drivers experienced the unique challenges of the Autodromo Mobile One, a track which was given a makeover in 2008 by local company IMCA and is now the jewel of the Caribbean racing crown. Well, the racetrack here is really excellent. In my opinion, it's the best there is in the Caribbean. It's a technical track, one where you have to know every corner really well and always be alert in order to get the best results. That's what this track demands. It's a, a very challenging uh, track, driving-wise. It has a very tight turns. The asphalt is, is not as uh, grippy as you may like. It's really tough on tires. You really want to set up the car the way you can get the most out of it. The Dominican Touring Series, or DTS race, was the top category of the weekend, with Jacinto Pernado leading the standings alongside ex-world touring car driver Jordi Janay. It's like driving in a sauna. Also, the, the humidity is very high, and not only the temperature. So you need to be a bit fit, uh, take care of your uh, hydration, and uh, just uh, be strong, because all the Caribbean drivers are quite aggressive as well. Amongst the Caribbean drivers were local favourites, the LaRue racing team, made up of three brothers, two of whom had qualified in P1 and 2. For uh, this weekend, we're uh, racing with my brothers. We're just uh, working on the points, help the one that is on the front, get the most points that he can, Jorge is in front of uh, Jose and me. So we work with him, he's P1 and P2. I'll try to protect him and uh, help him uh, win the race. Race one was dominated by the youngest brother, Jorge, until a fuel pump problem forced him to retire, handing the win to the BMW of Kiko Cabrera and Harold Robles. With Jorge LaRue consigned to the back of the field for race two, Cabrera and Robles took another win, moving them into the championship lead. But Jorge LaRue produced the drive of the weekend to fight his way through the field, finishing second. I'm very happy uh, the result. Uh, I was maybe 12, I think. I passed all the cars and stay second to the end of the race. For us, it's a great weekend here in Auto House Racing. We have taken the lead of the championship for two points. Um, we were almost 18 points behind, so it puts us in a tight but comfortable position so we can start looking towards our third championship. I think we have a great chance and we have to work hard and keep out of trouble. It was packed today here, you know, it was a very nice combination, the motorcycles and the cars, you know, so I think people enjoy it a lot.